Hello everyone, welcome. Today is the third day of our 12 days of Christmas craft and we're going to be making a sign. These are the materials we're going to be using as always. I listed in the description the Mod Podge, the paint, the brushes, the scissors. This paper I used to cut the pattern that I'm going to be using to then cut the fabric. And um, the first thing I'm planning to use, um, let me see, I forgot, I need to sand it first. So let me sand it uh, just to get rid of the imperfections, making sure that it's all uh, easy to, to paint. And um, now I'm going to start painting. I'm gonna use this white paint probably just need two coats of it. Um, it all depends on the paint you use. This is an acrylic, but it's also a chalk paint and chalk paint dries really quick. And also it's easy to be, uh, to apply and has a lot of coverage. So I'm finishing up my first coat of paint. So after I'm going to Help it dry with the heat gun and also wait a little bit so it will dry naturally. Now I'm going to cut all my pieces that I need. The best way to cut the fabric when you have a shape is to attach the carp or to the fabric with pins like you see here. I decided to use the rotary cutter better. It's easier and faster. If you don't have one, it, you don't really need it. A pair of scissors will do. As you can see, I'm almost done cutting the pieces for my design. And it's a Christmas tree. <laughs> so now, like I told you, I'm going to apply the second coat, but I first, I'm going to sand it a little bit. I just get rid of the bubbly or whatever imperfection the paint showed. And, and I don't mind to sand it because I want it to look a little bit weathered. Now I'm going to apply the antique wax this antique wax it's the same brand as the paint waverly and uh, it's water-based and what it does is that uh protects the paint but also it helps you apply different finishes like you see here i am just getting rid of the excess i just wanted it to show a little bit and and uh, at the same time um, protect the paint also because it's a uh, wax. So we're almost done with applying the wax. I am using a, a baby wash baby wash I'm sorry baby wipes now I'm just uh, positioning the pieces I'm going to use the match pod I choose to use matte I don't want it to shine I think this is a little bit more like a farm look design and uh, less shiny the better the better so as you can see, I am applying enough Mod Podge. Remember Mod Podge, it's also a sealer and a, a finished. So you can apply it on the top as well as on the bottom to glue it. So almost done. I also, I'm adding the star. I had this Buffalo Check red and black fabric. So I decided to add it um, so I needed a star for my tree. <laughs> so that's it. You see, beautiful. Thank you for watching. I hope um, I'm inspiring you to make one. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to add also this 
greenery on the top and also the twine to be able to hang it on the wall. And until the next time, bye-bye.